What is going on YouTube? It's RJP back with a brand new video. We're gonna do a review video for you guys on a pair of sneakers here in just a minute. As you guys know, I am here in Charlotte for All-Star Weekend. Um, I did pick up a pair of sneakers that we are gonna go over, as I said here in just a minute. I wanna let you guys know a little bit about how the trip's going so far. So we got here uh, probably about 11 o'clock, been having a lot of fun, went to the Epicenter and did some of the exclusive events. Got to see Bradley Bill in person um, talking and uh, going over some things about All-Star Weekend. And then we also went to the uh, Nike sneakers pop-up retail shop as well as the um, I guess kind of event if you want to call it or gallery basically um, Anthony Davis was in there we did get to see Anthony Anthony Davis for just a little bit so they've got a court and certain things set up so he was shooting and doing some cool things and talking and all that kind of thing so it's been pretty cool so far um, the retail shop I actually didn't get to go into I know I said I went to that but really what I mean is I went and got in line and basically I kind of got tired of waiting in line and they pretty much said from where I was standing in line it'd be like a two hour wait. So I basically was like, ah, I think I'm gonna pass for right now. Uh, most of the stuff, like for example, they did a um, sneakers drop basically um, where you could reserve the carry five row kits. I kind of want to pick those up. So I did reserve a pair. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to pick those up and do a review on them. Haven't really decided. I just wanted to go ahead and reserve them because I do kind of want them. But the sneaker that I'm going to go over with you guys uh, was a little bit pricey for the retail. And I don't know if I want to pick these up or try to see if I'm able to get those Watch the Throne LeBron 16s. But I do want to thank you guys for checking out this video. And um, I know I told you guys I may not do a whole lot of videos while I am here in Charlotte. I'm going to try and enjoy my weekend uh, going to the All-Star practice tomorrow. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely need to do so. I've been posting a lot of stuff on my story um, so you can see kind of what's going on here in Charlotte. It is AirJP11, the same, uh, or my Instagram username is the same as my YouTube channel name. So definitely follow me there and you can follow along with what I am doing here in Charlotte. But guys, let's go ahead and take a look at these sneakers that you are here to see. Um, I did pick these up from the actual Nike uh, pop-up sneakers gallery. They had like a area where you could try on these uh, Nike Adapt basketball sneakers and I went in and tried them on. I really liked how they felt. When I first saw these or when they went on pre-order, I was like, man, I would like to have those to hoop in, but it's one of those sneakers that I would like to try on first because the Jordan 33s didn't go that well for me. They kind of felt like they cut the circulation of my foot off. Um, so with these Hyper Adapts, I felt really comfortable in them, and it's also a sneaker that I feel like I could wear casually if, let's say, when I did play in them or after I played them that I didn't like uh, actually playing them. But let's go ahead and take a look at them and let you guys uh, just check out the sneaker overall. So first off, um, they did come with this bag, obviously Nike Adapt bag. It is a pretty large box, as you can see here. I'm going to try to do all of this um, without putting the camera down. don't know how it's going to work. Uh, let's see here. So it is a slide out uh, box. As you can see, well, we'll take a look at this uh, here first. You've obviously got Nike Adapt Earl BB on there. So we'll go ahead and slide this top of the box off. Maybe here just a second. So obviously on the top of the box, you're going to see that uh, Nike check on there. And then I haven't actually taken them out of this box yet. So basically what you do is, is you went and tried them on in a certain area. Um, and then basically you had to go to a different area to actually purchase the shoe um, at like a uh, oh, res reservation type spot. Um, so that's where you had to go to actually be able to purchase the shoe. So when we take the lid off, it is kind of like a pop off top or lid inside you are going to have both sneakers obviously and then there's some other things that comes in here as well so here is the actual shoe as you can see here um, as i said they are very comfortable on foot and they actually look a lot better in person um, there was some players and people that had them on on the actual court that was in the nike uh, pop-up gallery and basically they looked really really good on foot i'm not going to lie after i saw them on foot i was like man I'm going to have to find out where they are where you can try them on because I definitely want to see how they look on foot um, for me to actually be able to grab a pair. So, you know, obviously, you do have to download the app. Um, they do tighten um, on foot. You can tighten them from the shoe. You don't have to tighten them just from the app. But basically, you just swipe up with your finger on the app, and it does tighten it, and then you swipe down, um, and it does loosen it. And there is a section for the left and the right foot. So you can, you know, I'm not saying... I don't really know why you would want to do this, but you can actually have like the left foot tighter than the right if you want. Um, so it does work pretty cool or you can have them tighten to the same. Um, 
I guess, adjustment, if you want to say. So right here on the side, these are basically lights, and you can adjust in the app as well what color the lights are. There is several different colors. We were kind of playing around with it um, in the store and seeing, you know, what all different colors that you could um, have the shoes actually light up to be. So let's say you had a red outfit on or a red shirt and you wanted the lights to match your shirt. You could definitely change the um, lights to match the actual shirt that you do have on. So here is the actual, I guess you could say, uh, like charging pad for the shoes um, that does come with it. So that is the reason for the actual big uh, size box. Um, but you can actually see this here. So you'll set the shoes on top of each um, spot or pod there as you can see and then i don't even know what else is in here to be honest like i said i'm opening this box for the first time uh myself as well um i'm not exactly sure what's in here to be honest and then you obviously are going to have a little pamphlet or booklet down in here as well i would say that this is going to tell you um what the app is to download sorry guys my hand's kind of getting in the way there um, i'm sure it's going to tell you what app to download and a little bit about the shoe and all that kind of thing. Yeah, getting started, power up, all that kind of stuff, how to use it, how to use the um, charging pad and all that good stuff. And I believe that's all that's actually in the box. But let's go back to the shoe just a little bit. Um, let you guys take a little bit more look at them. As I said, overall, they're very comfortable. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that they wish there was some more cushion in the shoe. Um, they don't really like the cushion setup, but I'll be honest, they were very comfortable on my foot. You know, obviously I haven't played in the sneakers yet. I will do a performance review for you guys when I get back home and after I play in them just a little bit. Um, but overall, they did feel pretty comfortable with me, and I'm actually very, very happy um, about the being able to pick these up and actually getting them in person. It was a lot better to me to actually be able to try them on. I would suggest um, that you try them on. I'm normally a true 11 and a half. Um, you guys know that a lot of times in my casual shoes, I will go up to a 12 because I do like them to be pretty loose if I'm walking around casually. But these I actually went down to a size 11. Um, they were a little bit long on me for some reason. I felt my toe in 11 and a half was about right in here. So I did go down to 11 and I have, you know, still a decent amount of room in the shoe, but I felt a lot more comfortable when the shoe was tightened up in a size 11. So if you are able to try them on in person, I definitely would suggest doing that. Um, because they did fit a little bit weird on me. But overall, as I said, guys, I'm really happy to have got these or picked them up. Retail on these is $350, which is a little bit high. Um, that's the most that I've ever paid for a sneaker overall. I did one time pay $400 for a pair of Yeezys for my wife, but I've never paid anything near that um, for my actual self on a pair of shoes. But I do want to thank you guys uh, for tuning in and checking out this review video on these uh, Nike Hyper Adapts and basically just letting you guys know a little bit about the shoe overall and what I've been doing here in Charlotte. But thanks again, guys, for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And as I said, follow me on Instagram and check out my stories so you will know what I am getting into and what we are up to here in Charlotte. But thanks again, and we'll see you guys again very, very soon. Peace.